In the previous lesson, we installed JDK, a necessary tool to run the ESplorer. In this lesson, we'll go over how to download and run the ESplorer itself. To get the ESplorer, go to iot4e.com and click on the GitHub button on the top right. Go to Basic Programming IoT. Click on the ESplorer that's it, and click on Download. Save the file on your computer. Right-click on the saved file, extract, and go to the ESplorer folder. Here you can find the ESplorer.bat file and ESplorer.jar file. There are two ways to run the ESplorer. The first way is to double-click on the ESplorer.bat file, and another way is via the command prompt. Open the command prompt and navigate to where the ESplorer.jar file is. To navigate through directories in the command prompt, type cd and name of the folder to go to, then enter. To go back one directory, type cd and two dots. Once you're in the correct folder, type java-jar esplorer.jar and hit enter to run it. This is the esplorer. If you haven't connected your ESPA266 board to your computer yet, it will state COM or COM4 on the port. The port number will be different for every computer. Now let's go over how to use it. First, connect your ESPA266 development board to your computer and run the ESplorer. As soon as you connect your ESPA266 board to your computer, a new port will show up. In my case, it's a COM5. After selecting the port, click on the Open button. Then select correct baud rate. In our case, it is 115,200. There is a refresh button next to the Open button. Click on the refresh button after changing the baud rate. Make sure that node MCU firmware is already flashed on the ESPA266 board before connecting to your computer. Now on the left side, we can write a code and send it to ESPA266. The right side will show outputs. Once connected, you will get a similar message to this. If your board does not connect for whatever reason, press the reset button on the ESPA266 board. Let's try writing a short code on the ESplorer. Type print, open parenthesis, quotation mark, hello, space, friends, quotation mark, and close parenthesis. And click the save button. Save the code on your personal project folder as hello.lua. Then transfer the code to ESPA266 by clicking on Save to ESP button on the bottom left. Remember that Save to ESP button is enabled only if ESPA266 is connected. Once sent to ESPA266 board, the output will show on the right. Let's make a change. Add and space dot 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 after friends. Click on Send to ESP button. The program will be saved automatically and output will show on the right side. Sending the code to ESPA266 is this simple. There are many buttons that we don't need to know right now, but let's go over the three in the yellow box. Reload button, once clicked, will display another button with the name of our file and show the information about our program on the output console. If we had more program in our board, it would have shown a button for each of the program and list all on the output as well. As you can see, there is only one file on the ESPA266 at the moment. Total file is 1. Total size is 32 bytes. And the total used and remaining size of the board is shown as well. To clear the console, right-click anywhere on the output console and click Clear. Then click on the Hello.Lua button. This will run the Hello.Lua program. Clear the console again and click on the FS Info button. This will only show you the total, used, and remaining bytes of the board. The Format button removes all the file from the ESPA266 board. Next, let's talk about the drop-down on the bottom. If you click on the small arrow button on the bottom right, it'll show you a list of commands. Click on the Do File command. Type hello.lua in between quotation marks and click on the Send button. This will run the hello.lua program. Let's try another command. Click on the file.remove command. Type hello.lua in between quotation marks and click on the send button. This command removes the file from ESPA266. Click on the reload button. You will notice that the board is empty. 
It means hello.lua file was successfully removed. Then, click on the reset button on the bottom to reset the connection to ESP8266 board. This is how we will communicate with the ESP8266 board going forward. In the next lesson, we'll go over basic programming on ESP8266 development board. If you have any questions, let us know on the IoT4E community board. Thank you.